God's not ever going to let you. God is going to do everything He can to keep you. You're not ever going to go back to that lifestyle. That lifestyle is a lifestyle that will send your soul to the pits of hell. I'm thankful. Because when you're set apart, and God was said next to you, almost done, He said, I'll impose my will on this earth. He said that I want my will to be done on this earth as it is in heaven. I began to see that for exactly how it is. I want my will to be imposed. I want people to be delivered. I want yokes to be destroyed. I want devils to be cast out. I want to seal the people of God. I want to see my church alive and flourishing. I want to see my church the way that I said my church would be, a vibrant church, a church that's alive, full of the power of God, that's living for me, that's falling. The devil trembles when you get out of bed. That's the church God wants. He wants his will done on earth. And then the other day, I thought about how we worship God. Aren't you glad we're worshipers? Amen. Aren't you glad you're praisers and worshipers? And you praise and you're beginning to... And in my spirit, I could see this line. It was coming. Every time we would praise God, this is what... This is, the, is this like a... Just a knowing. And every time we would praise God... This line would come. This huge line would come. Every time that you would worship God, this line would come. Every time that you would lift up holy hands, begin to shout to Jesus, this line would come. And you know what I found out? I forgot that the word praise means Judah, and he's the line of the tribe of Judah. My God, that's the Holy Ghost. That's the power of God. He's the line of the tribe of Judah. And he said, weep not. You don't have to weep anymore. All you got to do is praise him. My God, I feel God. You say, why? Because he said, for the line of the tribe of Judah has overcome. He'll open the seals. Remember, he began to, he said, he'll open the seals. And there'll be things open to me and you that'll never be open to anybody else. There'll be things that'll happen good to me and you that'll never happen to anybody else. When you're sick, you'll be healed. You won't stay sick. When you're oppressed, you won't stay oppressed long because he's opened the seals. My God, hallelujah. He's opened the seals. And he's poured out his blessings, his mercy, his goodness, and his love. He's poured it out. The line will come. Hallelujah to God. The line will come. Every time that you're praising God, I don't just mean here either, church. Every time that you praise God, I want you to see this huge line. Just, he'll just walk up and he'll just stand right there beside you. He'll just stand and look. Won't nothing bother you. No devil's going to come around. There ain't nothing going to stay. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing, nothing going to bother you when you praise me. When you got your hand. That's why I tell you to lift your hands. That's why, we, that's why we're called New Beginning Worship Center. Because as we worship God, the line will come. Come on, somebody. The line will come. Four more things. Four things I want to talk about, and I'm going to close. God has given you dominion. He's giving you dominion right where you are right now. You don't have to. All you have to recognize is your authority. Listen, every, listen to me. I want everybody to listen to me. You don't have to yell and be loud. You don't have to yell and be loud. First thing God's given you, He's given you dominion over the devils. He gave you all power over all the power of the enemy. And the enemy comes in, in many forms, in many ways. He don't come as a roaring lion. He comes as an angel of light. But you can recognize him because he's going to try to lead y'all. But when you understand that you have authority, it's Jesus. I, I thought it was pretty cool the other day. I still talk about this lady that got delivered last Sunday night. Some of y'all weren't here. It was just a very unusual. It was a very unusual time in that girl's life. But we recognized God's authority. And I remember that devil saying, no, 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 no. And it's like, yes. We didn't raise it. We said, yes, you have to come out because of Jesus. I said, you have to. You have to go. You don't have to yell. You don't have to shout. You just have to recognize that you've been given dominion. You have authority. Everybody in here. It don't matter who you are. No matter how long you've been saved, you have authority. Look at me, church, over those things. And some of you in your past, God knows all about your past. He knows about the people that's hurt you and your family. Listen to me. He knows all about it. He sure does. I, I could call you by name 
but I won't. But he, 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 he knew all about it. You know what? But look at you. You're here today. And maybe the Lord, I feel like, would have me to say to you that you wouldn't be here today had those things maybe not happened. You say, well, how can that be, preacher? Because a lot of times, man, that's the way it works. You know, our life, if we had our life mapped out, it'd just be woo, smooth sound. Instead, it's, it's like this with God. You know, it's like, because you, you can't grow and you can't get closer to God without battles. I know what I'm talking about. You're not going to get closer to God. You're going to go through your battles. You're going to have your heartaches. You're going to have things in life happen. But you're going to end up where he wants you. And where he wants you, that's the best place to be. You've got dominion over devils. Somebody shout amen. amen. You've got dominion over the devil. The Bible says that when they brought back the 12, he gave them power. They came back and, man, they were telling Jesus about everything that happened and how the devils were trembling and running. And Jesus just stopped them and said, hold on a second, boys. Don't, let me talk to you a minute. He said, he said, you know, don't, don't rejoice that you have subject, you know, you're, the devils are subject to you, but rather that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. You have dominion over the world today in the flesh. You've overcome. You've literally overcome right now where you're sitting. You've overcome by the word of the Lamb, by the, I'm sorry, by the word of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of your testimony. Let me go on. Amen. And then you have the power to say, to speak, to that mountain. Stand to your feet. You have the power. You have the power to speak. You have the power to say in His name. The Bible says, I know that if I pray according to His will, that I have the petitions. My God, somebody help me. Amen. That I desire of Him. Amen. And I just want to be free. Amen. And sometimes you have to fight for that freedom. You say, how is that, preacher? Well, I'll take you back to the Old Covenant. Even though that they went into the land of promise, there were still giants there. But God said, it's yours. But you have to believe what he says, and then you have to fight sometimes for it. But it, it's already won. He's already said it's yours. So you have to speak and continue to speak it. Continue to believe it. And then everything will begin because you want to be free. Amen. You don't have to be bound by anything but you have to fight sometimes for your freedom. Amen. You have to war sometimes in, 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 the, in the spiritual realm. You have to war. If those are the things that you desire in your life, and that's what I desire, I just want to be free. Amen. You know, and, I'm, and, if, and whatever it takes to be free, that's what I'm going to do. If I have to give up something, if I have to spend more, come on, Elder, if I have to, come on, if I have to spend more time with God, if I've got to spend more time in prayer, if I've got to do whatever God tells me to do, I'm going to do it because you know what? If I don't, I'm not going to feel good. I'm going to be oppressed. I'm going to be weighted down, but I want to be free. You want to be free this morning? Yes. Hallelujah. Raise your hands. Amen. God, you've given us dominion. Yeah. You've already spoken in your word. You said to let us make man in our image, and God, you said you've given dominion over all the works of your hands. And God, we're the church. We're the body of Christ. We're not only the work of your hands, but God... We're your eyes and your ears and your mouthpiece. God, we're your feet and your legs. We're your body in this earth. And God, I'm asking today, Father, that people would really hear what you're telling them this morning, that they can be free. That God, that their lives can be different because you've given us dominion. You've given us authority, rulership. God, you're backing everything up because you're in heaven right now at the right hand of the Father. And God, today, I, I want to thank you for this word. I want to thank you, God for helping your people today, for pouring out your spirit, what you've already done at this altar. I thank you for that freedom that we feel right now. Thank you, brother. I thank you, Lord, for dominion in this place today. I thank you, Lord, that we are free. Come on, church, we say it, we are free. And Lord, our confession, God, you said, God, we can have whatever we say. God, Abraham spoke those things, though they weren't, as though they are. And God, we confess God this morning. That God, that the, the, the bondages and the chains and the shackles, and God, those things, God, that Satan has tried to oppress with, they are broken this morning. Say it's been broken, it's been destroyed, that I'm free this morning, that I'm free to praise you, that I'm free. Come on, Jamie, let's sing that song again. I'm free to run with you. Come on, let's give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. Would you come up here if you would? Would you come up here and stand with me this morning?
And this, let's, thank, let's just thank God for this service and what He's done in this house today, for His people today. I appreciate you. I didn't mean to keep you so long. I appreciate every one of you. I love you. Let's give God praise for what He's already done. Amen. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee, zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, please join us again next time for our broadcast.